Well, you know, it's February here, and it's still cold up in this workshop, so every time you see me, I got this heavy coat on. All right, here's the 550X right here on the bench. I picked this guy up at an antique store in New Hampshire um, quite a number of years ago. I would probably say eight or nine years ago. Um, a friend of mine sent me a meter for a line check here for this tester. I had to add this in here so that I can uh, set my line adjust. We're going to fire this baby up here and we're going to, it's a mutual conductance tester. And we're going to fire her up and we're going to test this number 35 tube here that I did on the other tester on the little antique tester that I showed you on an earlier video and um, we'll test her in here. What we're going to do is flip this baby on here I haven't used this guy in probably um, oh I don't know six seven months so we give it a chance to warm up a little um, we've got I believe an 83 uh, rectifier in here on, under the chassis and a 5Y3 I, I recall now on this setting here we call for a 90 volts AC line check uh, that's where I established the most accurate readings by setting the line voltage which is simply the voltage being fed into the primary of the transformer of the tester to 90 volts AC I did a complete overhaul on this thing and this is the tube setups for this and we're going to go and set it up for a 35 tube right now okay we have selectors here A, B, we have filament we have L, we have R alright so if you go over here to the 35 tube alright we're gonna set the first selector at 7 the second selector at 6 first selector as I said it's going to be set at 7 that'll be selector A and the second one selector B will be set at 6 7, 6 and then 2.5 filaments Seven, six, filament 2.5 I want to touch base on this again when you test the tube always keep your filaments down either off or down very low because in case you put a tube in here that um, is only two and a half volts filament or 1.4 volt filament you're gonna blow the damn thing out so you don't want that to happen but anyways we're gonna set this we start at the bottom and work up alright so 2.5 is where our filament is because that's a 2.5 volt filament tube we have two other settings here L and R and we're gonna see what L and R is L is 42, R is 20. L is 42, R is 20. There we go. Okay, it's an amplifier tube, and uh, mutual conductors reading should be 10, 20, or above. And this also applies to a 35S tube. It helps to put the tube in the circuit, in the tube tester. Works a lot better that way. <laughs> okay, with the grid cap I had to make myself. Because the original wire was all deteriorated, so I just got a big oversized uh, battery charger, uh, medium sized battery charger clip and made it up. And she just plugs right into here. Now, we're into the, the micromoles, we're into um, 3000 range, but before we do that, this tube has been tested for shorts on this very tester, as I had mentioned in the earlier video, but we are going to test this anyhow for shorts. Here's my short indicator right here. 
Now, it is normal to flip because that's the capacitors discharging as it's going through the range. But it should not stay on in any position. We're in position uh, one right now. The next position, no shorts, no shorts, and no shorts, and now tube test. Now we can do the test. We push that down, and what we've got here with my poor eyesight, as close as I can read that, it looks like we're on the 2000 here, the micromoles, which is a mutual conductance reading of 2000 micromoles on a full scale reading of 3000. So here we are, we have a good tube. It showed it in my little old triplet that I showed you earlier, the one back here. And uh, that was in the mission tester. This is a mutual conductance tester. I have a few other tube testers which test newer tubes. And I hope that helps you a little bit and give you a little bit of uh, help on testing tubes.